Okay, so we'll start with an example where we have a non-circular cross-section, just to emphasize that we don't always have to do circles, although that is a common setting that we're going to look at. Here we have a pyramid, square base, okay, side lengths of 10, height of 5, you get something that looks like this. You want to calculate the volume, right? So we want to set this up as a volume problem. So we have to kind of think about how are we going to actually draw this, right? How do we want to orient things so that we can introduce some variable and set things up? So one way to do this would be to set it up as follows. We're going to go out kind of one, two, three, four, five units along the x-axis, three, four, five units up, one, two, three, four, five units down, okay? And <coughs> we, can, uh, we can draw something like this. So we, we're going to put this in, put this in, put this in. Okay, so we have a triangle, right? So that triangle is essentially what you would see if you were looking at this pyramid from the side. And the reason why I've put the vertex at the origin rather than kind of drawing it the other way around is that we get much simpler equations for these sides, right? This is now simply y is equal to x. This is y is equal to minus x. And of course, this side is just x is equal to 5, which is much more straightforward, okay? All right. So now the, the tricky part with this is you have to always try to imagine now picturing things in 3D, which is a little bit harder. So you have to think that, okay, what you actually have is like it's kind of coming out of the page and it's, it's going in. But really what you need to do is you have to think about, okay, at a given point, like if this is my X value and I kind of cut the pyramid vertically like so, or horizontally in this picture, right? So this corresponds to, you know, at a particular x value, you're going to cut out a piece of the pyramid. I'm just going to look something like that, right? You're going to cut out that square. Okay? So what's the area of that square? <coughs> That's what we need to work out, right? So the total length from here to here is is 2x, right? So Basically, you can kind of see what's going to happen, right? Uh, at the bottom of the pyramid, we're doing 10 by 10. We're kind of looking at it you know, from one side. So right, 5 here, 5 here, there's our 10. Um, so if we, were, if we were somewhere between 0 and 5, right, x ranges from 0 to 5. Um, so the, the total length of this side right, at any point is just going to be, it's just going to be 2x, right? So it's a 2x by 2x squared, right? So we can work out then that the, the area as a function of x of one side is just, well, the length of one side, which is 2x, and we square it, right? That's how we get the area of the square. Uh, so that suggests that the volume should be integral area as a function of x dx, where x goes where? x starts at 0, ends at 5. So this becomes the integral from 0 to 5. So if we square that, we have 4x squared. Okay. And so then we get 4 third x cubed, evaluated from 0 to 5. Okay. So that gives us 4 thirds times 5 cubed, which is 125. Okay, so that gives us, what, 500 over 3 for the volume of our pyramid. Okay. 